Y'all know about sea otters? You know, the marine mammals that are super cute and the ones that hold hands while they sleep so they don't float away from each other? Well, now you know about them. They're absolutely adorable and probably one of my favorite animals. Monterey Bay Aquarium even has a sea otter cam, but it's down until June 13th. I'm not crying, you're crying. They also have an educational article about sea otters and it's honestly really adorable. Which is why I use TensorFlow's object detection API to detect sea otters. That's a normal thing to do, right? So what's the difference between object detection and image classifiers? Well, I've done image classification before and you can check out the video on my channel. And it's quite self-explanatory. In my example, it classifies images of hands making rock, paper, and scissors. But that image classifier can only classify images that it was meant to classify. If the model was given an image that was not a hand making rock, paper, or scissors, the model would classify it wrong because it wasn't programmed to classify that. It would try to classify it with the classes it was given. Object detection would usually entail drawing boxes around a certain object in the picture. In this case, you could give any picture and it would try to detect an object within that picture. The box is usually drawn based on a probability that the object in the picture is the object it was meant to detect. If the probability that an object in the picture was not one of the objects the API was meant to detect, then a box will not be drawn. Much like image classifiers, object detection models can be trained to detect multiple objects. One popular dataset used to train object detection models is the COCO dataset, which stands for Common Objects in Context. It's a dataset with over 81 unique images ranging from airplanes to people to dogs and cats. Here's my process. First, I grabbed TensorFlow's models from their GitHub and followed the installation instructions. Next, I changed some code so that I could run the object detection on my computer screen. I used OpenCV to do this and their method of using webcam as input for the object detection API. Instead of a regular webcam, I used something called VirtualCam, which is a plugin for OBS to use my computer screen as webcam input. Since there aren't any datasets on sea otters, at least to my knowledge, I had to make my own. I used a program called Label Image to label my images and turn them into XML files. Then I used Python scripts from a GitHub user to convert XML to CSV and then converted all of them to TF records using another script he had. I also downloaded the config file from the TensorFlow repository, then I slapped it all together in the object detection API and boom, you get to detect sea otters in pictures and videos after like 15 hours of training of course. If you want to learn what I did, Sentdex on YouTube has a great tutorial. You might be wondering, how is detecting sea otters useful? And I say to you, how is detecting sea otters not useful? I'm just kidding, you'd never say that. I definitely haven't spent over 20 hours trying to figure out this API for something as trivial as detecting sea otters in YouTube video. But computer vision and object detection have a lot of great and actually useful uses. Firstly, there are really good deep learning models now that can detect objects super well. One you might have heard of is the YOLO model, which is on its fourth iteration now. These models can be used for facial recognition or activity recognition and many more. One fantastic instance of activity recognition is this video by Lex Friedman. It's honestly amazing how these models can be so accurate. Object detection and activity detection also have been used in security cameras. I've seen it used in home security cameras too. Well that's it for me, thanks for watching. P.S. If you thought all of this was easy, it was very annoying. I no doubt spent over 15 hours running into bugs. Literally every time I pressed on the command line, I would-